Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be driving my Tesla Model 3 Performance, but it's not about that. It's more about how the electric car is dominating the autocross hobby. Takeaway is see exactly what type of performance you get from an electric car and how it places as compared to the ICE vehicles. Enjoy the video. Hello everybody and good afternoon headed to the autocross track yet again. This will be the second one here in a month. And uh, there's actually a third one at the end of the month, which I'll miss. Heading up now to Hendersonville. I got to do some errands and then uh, meet Richard and we'll head up to the autocross track. Rain uh, in our forecast, I don't know how much, but some, uh, but the temperature should be pretty good. It should be in the 70s. Yeah, so Richard and I are uh, setting up here and up drives Casey. He's got a uh, dual motor. Uh, it's non-performance, but it's uh, really decked out. It's got coil over suspension. It's got uh, really nice wheels and uh, he's ready to go. He comes with uh, experience in autocross. So Casey, uh, I think you'll do well tonight. Uh, you know, it all will uh, will really uh, work on the ice cars tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, it's been six or seven years since I've uh, autocrossed uh, in my previous S2000. So, first time autocrossing a Tesla, so I'm looking forward to it. Good. I think you'll have the Tesla smile for sure. <laughs> I already do. <laughs> yeah, good deal. All right. Well, we'll be, uh, I think we'll run second this year or this uh, uh, afternoon because uh, we ran first uh, last week. Uh, when we ran so looks good it's early the threat of rain i think has frightened a lot of people off we have an 80 car maximum here and i think we're going to end up uh, having uh, some of the people in the wait list uh, join up tech's open uh, we're gonna get some of these cars tech that are newer than a year that don't have a yearly sticker Casey uh, drove in from the town of Hickory, which is east of us here, and uh, that puts uh, four Model 3s uh, online uh, today. Autosports is located locally in Arden, North Carolina, just a couple of miles from here. HPT Autosports stops to be your number one source Looks like it's our turn. We get second run group. We're gonna park back here. Hey, what the heck? Check this out. Model Y, how about that? Good one. All right, so it's five Teslas here tonight. One doesn't appear to be running. This is our run group. We're getting ready to run. And that's it. Warming up track mode now. This is run number one. Ready to roll. Follow your competition in there. You can go ahead. Can't let them win. No. We're here, uh, run number one behind Richard. Everybody's lining up here, getting dark. 
If you drive a Tesla, you know that uh, hold where it's one pedal driving is really your friend. Uh, in track mode, there is no hold. So <laughs> you got to watch it because you'll uh, take your foot off the accelerator and then you'll roll back. So you just got to watch it. is Dave Anderson in his 2020 Tesla Model 3 performance. And John Miller crosses with a 36.851. about 34.7 not a bad first lap this is the G meter for that first run I got well over one and a half to the right and 1.3 to the left and uh, the traction control did a good job coming up uh, this part here where you come in around and down and up and across uh, and then this way and then up and over is uh, uh, was pretty good. Anyway, hopefully it'll be a little faster next time and uh, you know you just keep pushing it the best you can. Just about ready to roll out here. Run number two. Run number two here now. Funny uh, fact here, I ran that whole last race with my parking lights on. <laughs> I got so excited to go, we were waiting all day, I forgot my parking or my uh, main light, so I'll remember it this time. Dave Anderson coming to the start line in his 2020 Tesla Model 3 performance. Got his game face on, man. Uh -oh. Paul Mikowski coming across the line with a 37.254. His best run of the night. Rich Dale coming across with 33.878. All right, rock and roll. Run two sucked. Well, I guess it did, and I beat almost everybody at 35 1. That's all right. We'll uh, work it. This is run three. Dave 
Dave Anderson is at the start line with his 2020 Tesla Model 3. Paul Mikowski crosses with a 36.915, but hit one cone. I can't hear you. Okay. Your wheels are straight. Go, man. Yeah, now that was a fast run, 33.75. I think it's fastest I've gone around this whole track. Good night, that was run two. I'll make that uh, run three. 33.57. Three, Here's the track from the air. The start line is about here. We go this way, we slalom, we go around uh, uh, turn down, crossed, down, around, sweeping turn, up, cross back over, and then this way, and then cut back at an angle, go up here, around, jog down, up and around, and it's the starting place there. That's what it looks like from the air here. Run number four. John Miller crossing the line with a 35.576. Okay. Dave Anderson coming to the start line in his 2020 Tesla Model 3 performance. Paul Mikowski crossing with a 36.535, which is his best time of the night. Run four, 34.82, not very fast. Probably uh, 95 percentile, but it wasn't uh, that fast. That's okay, had fun. Run number four, and I uh, was sloppy. <laughs> but it's okay, it was 34 something. I don't remember right this second. Not bad for uh, most of the folks out here, but uh, it's not as fast as my best time. Just about ready to roll out here on run number five.
Run number five. Time beat 33.85. John Miller got 35.612. Here's Dave Anderson in his 2020 Tesla Model 3. Time to, his personal time to beat is 33.752. Paul Mikowski crossing with a 36.983. Go, go, go. That was 34.8, slower than the other one. I think I hit a cone or two, I'm not sure. Anyway, it was fun. It uh, certainly uh, was uh, exhilarating tonight. So it was pretty good. Gotta get all my uh, stuff and get out of here. I'm all packed up here. I'm gonna go meet up with Richard and I think we're headed to Waffle House down by his house tonight. All the rest of the folks aren't here, John and uh, Jim, and they live north of us, so we're heading south. The Super Street category turned out to be awesome. We have Brian here at the top, and then uh, me, and then Richard, and then Casey, who hails from Hickory, brought his new 2022 two-motor, or I should say dual-motor, Model 3 out, had wheels, uh, he had uh, unplugged performance, uh, coil over springs, and he uh, did really well, and I uh, hope he comes back. What a great night, we had a great time tonight, a lot of cars, there were 79 cars that showed up, we did well, when we look at the raw statistics, we remove uh, the top three go-karts, and Josh in the tube frame roadster came in number one at 32.6. And then uh, Brian in his Model 3 Performance, a four door family car, came in at number two at 33.3. And then Sean in the McLaren, he came in at 33.4. I came in at 33.5. And Richard came in at 33.7. So we had a really great night out of the 79 cars. Uh, we all did very well. We had a good time. Weather cooperated. No rain. All in all, it was a good evening. And remember, autocross is for everybody, no matter what you're driving. You can't bring a big four-door, four-wheel drive truck because it's just too high. But just about everything else you can drive in autocross. If you liked tonight's video, go ahead and click the like, and if you would, please subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos, and take care.